Yeehaw. Hello everyone, welcome to the Jenkins Infrastructure Meeting. Uh, today we are the 18th of October 2022. Uh, today this, for this meeting, myself, Damien Duportal, we have Hervé Lemeur, Mark White is off, Stéphane Merle, and Bruno Verharten. I think it's at Podang, as far as I remember. You're right. Okay. One, two, three, four person I contact for. <coughs> Let's go. Um, announcements. First one, weekly. So the weekly was successful. Um, so, ah, uh, I just want tabulation. Okay. So release uh, successful, no issue whatsoever. Um, Docker image, I trig uh, manually triggered the build on trusted CI because I was showing the whole process as Kevin as a part of a knowledge transfer because uh, Kevin was asking me uh, which time can he start proposing publication for the changelog. So I'm not sure who is in charge of that weekly, but um, checklist to be finished. Uh, change log and I assume some other items that have to be done. So from the infrastructure point of view, no action required for the release itself. And Stefan, you should be able to proceed for the Docker image for weekly and you can deliver it to uh, uh, for infra on Kubernetes management uh, once it's okay. Perfect, thank you. Um, you might have also some release drafter issues on Boss Docker image repository. So don't stay to merge them if it's okay for you. It's patch as far as I remember. So, yeah. Uh, we can also start again uh, breaking things on release CI yeah, Jenkins IO if needed. Is there any question for the weekly release? Nope. Uh, announcement. Uh, right now, the ACI. So Windows containers on CI Jenkins IO are currently broken. Uh, I'm, I was uh, working on that. It's a change I made uh, one or two hours ago. Um, it, the goal of the change was to bump Maven to the latest version because these two images were different, bump the GDKs, uh, but we also changed some element on the base image. Uh, it's currently broken. I don't know why I'm currently diagnosing. So uh, the, I will fix it right after our meeting. So that means we might see some jobs piling, uh, the one that require a container Windows machine. Uh, jobs uh, in the queue. Um, one of the key issue here that uh, Hervé and I underlined, uh, thanks for James Nord for helping confirmation, is that um, in the case of using nano server, um, so it's a kind of lightweight uh, Windows container system. It's built for container, for mono process, mono user usually. Um, there is a system property named user.home in Java. Uh, that one, is set to C uh, to the, the C drive instead of user profile. Um, the main reason is, is because some DLL and libraries that are usually present on Windows Server Core, like on our virtual machine agents, uh, these DLLs are missing. So there, there you, we have some hacks for some languages such as Golang where you get DLL from the Windows Server Core and you copy it on the nano server image. But that trick doesn't work with GVM. I don't know enough of the underlying GVM issues. But the consequence is that Maven was setting its local repository uh, in C drive instead of the user profile. So that partially explains part of the slowness that were reported by some contributor. 
because uh, C, the, the, the C uh, M slash M2 directory is not a data volume. It's the container layered file system, which means reading and writing within that repository uh, is slow as L. So it's not enough to explain some of the slowness because somewhere on the virtual machines, but that one clearly can get some improvement. So that was the reason to a bump Maven and the wall image, but it's break, it's currently breaking, uh, should be fixed in a few hours. Uh, I will send an email to the mailing list. Um, reminder, tomorrow, it's now official, there will be a security release. I will add it to the agenda. As far as I remember, it was only plugins, but a lot of plugins. So please don't break uh, anything tomorrow. Uh, I don't remember. I think it's beginning of the afternoon in European time zone. Uh, so yes. So we can break in the morning. Uh, yes, but you need some time to fix your breakage. <laughs> uh, but no worry, just, for, just uh, check the, the channel. Uh, every, everyone from the SRE team should have been invited, right? If it's not the case, I will add you. But yeah, um, challenge yourself on if we have to deploy something on production, ask yourself if it's needed. Uh, most probably Kubernetes is okay, but Puppet might be more sensitive there because it begins on me. The channel is uh, is for today. Yes, but uh, it was initially planned today and it has been delayed tomorrow. I understand how I, yep. I missed. I asked the question Monday because I was also stressed out by this. So, upcoming calendar, unless you have another announcement. Up. Okay, next weekly, next Tuesday, we should be the uh, 25, right? Yes. Um, next LTS, I don't remember, but it's in, it's in November. Uh, we'll uh, get it uh, from previous meeting notes that have been uploaded. But next uh, security release tomorrow, 9th of October, next major events. No major events. Okay. Something to say before we proceed to the work we already did. Nope, okay, let's proceed. Just a big thank you, Hervé, for again for uh, that system that's uh, create the note for us. That's really cool. Uh, a lot of GitHub permission, so nothing that we had to do. Uh, you can see uh, based on the avatars of the person in charge of the issue that uh, Alex was really, really active during the past week. So thanks a lot, Alex. Um, there have been some work on the IRC bot. Uh, so now it's being built. It has CI integration like uh, what Hervé and Adrien did for the plugin Health Core. So the CI is on CI Jenkins IO and it's publicly available. While the deployment, the real deployment is done on Infra CI uh, once a, a release is tagged. Um, so now in the case of IRC bot, it seems that they worked a lot to clean up the repository. That was a long outstanding task. Uh, thanks Alex and team and Hervé for the effort there. Uh, I understand that we are, we were able to deploy one or two new version because one was failing and the second one was a fix. So I don't think there are much more actions from the infra team. Uh, if it's the case, don't hesitate to raise an issue as usual. Uh, so add IRC bot repo to in, infra org folder on CI that was in the same area. Uh, one week ago, we had issue with the Kubernetes pod on CI Jenkins IO that happened late on the day for uh, European. The auto scaling process was broken uh, on the current Amazon cluster. So um, short term, I was able to, to remove the faulty cluster from the configuration for the night. 
And the next day, Hervé fixed the AWS auto scaling configuration and everything went back to normal. So the outage was around one hour and a half. During one hour and a half, the bill were not lost, but just piling and trying to allocate agents. Once I applied the fix, all the bill were treated in less than 15 minutes, and then no more issues. So thanks, Hervé, for uh, the work on the AWS part. Uh, more, more permissions. And finally, uh, there was that request from uh, uh, Alex about the lockable resource plugin from Private Infra. The goal was to remove it, but it appeared that we are using it somewhere. Uh, so better to close the issue and not act on this one. Any question on the closed tasks? Nope, okay. Let's move to the work in progress to see if we have to, the status of each task, and then we see, uh, we have to check if we can work on it uh, next week. Um, I'm going to start with the lost access. I'm going to follow up uh, from the meeting notes, not from the order that you see on my screen. So lost access to publish releases for CrowdTalk plugin. So we had a request from a plugin developer. Um, we discussed that. The developer uh, had to follow up carefully the, the public instruction. And what happened is that using the artifactory UI instruction are working as expected, despite the documentation not absolutely clear. But if you follow carefully, really carefully this, the wording, that works very well. Daniel, Mark, and I tested that since the past days. However, the contributor was using the curl, uh, there is a curl commands, which goal is to retrieve the settings XML with your password encrypted directly from Artifactory on the GFROG repo. Thing is that the user complained about receiving a, a forbidden access, which I was able to confirm. So earlier today, we, were, uh, we checked and Daniel switched uh, permission it sounds like one permission has been removed a few weeks, months ago. So no one was able to retrieve that one except the administrator of GFROG. But the LDAP account weren't. Um, I've initially opened an issue uh, on the Jenkins IO website to either update or remove that paragraph. Daniel fixed that a few hours ago, and the user confirmed that he was unblocked to release their plugin. So Let's say the most pressing part has been done. And I see that he has an issue, could not transfer. So the user is still having issues. Okay, so something is wrong. So we have to help the user, even if it's not really our area. Uh, so I propose that we keep that issue open and we move it to next milestone. I don't mind continuing working on it unless someone feel uh, uh, okay to do the settings XML. A fresh new skill that Hervé learned two, two days ago. <laughs> no, okay, I tried, I tried to taunt Hervé, but no. Um, if no question, moving to CI job stories is not handling pull requests. So I've uh, checked this one. That's uh, so Infra CI is used for the static website Jenkins IO, stories Jenkins IO, and I think plugin site, at least the front part. On Infra CI, we create and deploy uh, previews for the website, and some of them have a Docker image built by the master branch on Infra CI. Problem is um, external contributor, it's Oktoberfest, external contributor when opening a pull request, when the job is failing, they don't have a feedback from the CI system. I thought uh, we were using GitHub checks, you know, in a pull request, you have a checks tabs that provide uh, something that Jenkins send back to GitHub. 
it appears that it's disabled by default. So if we want this, we need to change a uh, one Boolean to true in the configuration of the infra CI jobs. Uh, it talked that these jobs were enabled for the GitHub check, but they, were, they weren't. So uh, I asked Gavin if, he, if it GitHub check is okay, or if he really want a revamp to follow up what has been done on IRC bot or plugin health. So uh, the full CI on CI Jenkins IO, we have to re-enable the job correctly and only the deployment parts happen on infra CI. So that's the, the credential are in a private controller. So I will, if it's okay, I will move this one to next milestone. Uh, depending on what we will have, I might need to ask uh, Stefan for help. I will point you to the correct setting to change, but I will need you uh, to implement them uh, so I can focus on something else. That's but depending sure. on what it is, uh, both will be interesting. Okay. Looks good. I keep the assignee on myself and then uh, I will assign it with details and I will contact you if I need your help. If it's easy, uh, I will take care. If it's the GitHub check only, uh, I can ask you to pair if you want. Uh, if it's the other, uh, I will ask you for help. Any question? Next one, the biggest one, introduce artifact caching proxy for CI Jenkins IO. Hervé? So I have uh, the artifact caching proxy working on the new uh, public KS cluster. Uh, I'm now working on the Windows part of the pipeline library uh, in build, uh, build plugin function. Um, I have some issue getting the settings and setting security for Maven working. Okay, so whip on the pipeline library for Windows. Um, so work up in with Linux. You are work in progress on the pipeline library and you have uh, issues with Maven on Windows and around setting the XML and stuff. Is that correct? Yes, for the basic code, I see. Okay. So good good work because that was a lot of work, especially the, cluster, the AWS cluster port. So nice, uh, we are almost there. Question, how do you feel about eventually splitting your pull request and delivering for Linux already. So we can start moving some part uh, to the caching proxy and start seeing the results before focusing on Windows. Reason being there are still some unknown yeah. parts. Yeah, I can, I'll check on the list of test plugin to see if they have a Windows build. Uh, mm -hmm. They might even not having uh, uh, one, so it won't be a problem for this test. Okay. Uh, <coughs> the 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 idea is uh, uh, maybe only setting up the authentication only for Linux on the first time and see how it behaves on real life. Um, the reason why I'm asking is because the Windows part seems tricky. Uh, it involves some changes on the Windows image. It behaves differently between nano server, Windows server cores, so virtual machines and containers. So given the effort on Windows, it will be interesting to validate our hypothesis already on Linux. That will be a good first step. What do you think? Yes, um, I have to check the plugin where I want to test it. It may be, they may, uh, they may not even use Windows build. Yeah, but even if they do, yeah. that only means yeah, yeah. that even they won't they use do, the yeah. caching. Yep. Yep. Um, proposal is that I let you finish for today and you have a few time to see if there is an easy way for you to get out successfully on Windows. And if today you are not able to find tomorrow, you will have to walk around the pull requests. I understand that it adds some overhead because you will have to 
to split the pull request that require uh, some additional effort. But yeah, the goal is to have something visible that we can show to GFrog as soon as possible. Even if it's minor diminution, but the, yeah, we really need to ensure that the caching proxy works as expected and is not also a blocker for our end users. Yes. Um, so as a reminder, the announcement about the ACI uh, was caused by the work we uh, that has been done by Arveder uh, that allowed us to discover an issue with the nano server image. Deliver the Linux part already. Any question on that topic? I'm so we had a meeting with GFrog last week. Um, so just a reminder, I will add it on the news, but um, they are okay with uh, the caching. They say uh, the caching is uh, important. That will help us a lot. That will decrease. It won't be the most efficient effort, but yeah, seems okay for the, for them for that part. Makes sense. And improve. QoS for us. Okay, so I'm adding that to the next milestone. Um, reminder, very if you are uh, feeling bored with that task because it might be too much, don't hesitate to ask for handover. We can change turnaround. Uh, there is no uh, no issue at all. So you evaluate. Um, my proposal on Linux could be a way for you to ask yourself if you want to delegate Windows uh, crap to someone else. <laughs> You are you you are the only judge on that part. Uh, next issue, Twitter, still away. What's the status? Uh, uh, I didn't add, uh, I didn't took the time to to validate my chart, but uh, I have one in draft. I I will try to find some time this week to. Deploy it on a cluster and see if it works as intended, and then I can deploy it in pod public KIDS. Cool. So I can move it to next milestone? Yes. Okay. Thanks for the work there. Next one key clock performance or refic. So uh, we didn't have time to work on that. As a reminder, uh, we have to migrate the PostgreSQL database from AWS to Azure. Might not solve all the key clock issue, but still, uh, that for sure will uh, increase, uh, decrease the latency. Stefan, are you still okay to work with this one on, with me? Yes, yes, of course. Can can you think I can I can give you a hand beforehand and without you to smooth the way? Oh, uh, if you are okay to start preparing the, yeah, do you absolutely. think I'm, I'm able to? Yep, absolutely. Okay, I will. I will try then. If you want, uh, if you feel like you need to plan ahead, so we can sync up, define a task list. Yes. No problem on that, but yeah, it will be my pleasure if you that, could act on this one. Yeah. That would be a great start. We 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 pair together for like I don't know a small time. We we define the steps, and I will try to to start it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Let me take notes then. So plugin. Um, nothing done. Got to try the draft Elm chart. So then this one is key clock, key clock, key clock performance. Yeah, you, you didn't follow what you said. Yep. <laughs> sure. Sorry for that. So key clock, Stefan to uh, work on the PG SQL migration. Uh, to most tasks for the team. Cool, thanks, Stefan. Always pleasure. Okay, so I've moved to the next milestone. I remove myself there and here we are. Uh, now, next one, update center returning 404. I haven't had time to check on this one. Um, uh, 
Okay. I will take it unless someone wants. Um, the issue for non-user should be solved thanks to Mark's uh, answer. However, uh, I just want to consult Daniel, but that will have to wait after the security release because he is busy. I'm not really sure what were the dynamic update center. Uh, as far as I remember, it was something to dynamically change the content of the update center, maybe provide a JSON P wrapper, I don't know, but I would like to know if it's still a feature and if we, if we are expected uh, to have something because it doesn't exist while for the previous LTS version, there was some update center issues. So that's why we need to check where does it come from. Um, so I'm assigning this to myself and I keep it as a triage just to be sure if I have something to do. Any question on this one? to ask help from Daniel after sec release. Do we need to do something on dynamic update centers? So might be an issue to open update center too. I'm not really sure. Next one, Windows agent are so slow. So I will comment it out. I'm taking this one. So that's the first part of the ACI. Uh, I might have to fine tune the ACI configuration on CI Jenkins IO to be sure that we use the, the that C and uh, backslash M2 repository is a data volume. And also, so I might have to update Docker images and the pipeline library to force the user.home uh, home repo. Um, unless someone want to work on that, <laughs> of course. Nope. Okay. Related to ACI stuff. Might need Docker image update, pipeline library update. Uh, no more triage. And moving to next milestone. Um, Realign Jenkins org mission. So for that one, uh, we had the meeting. The me we had the meeting with Gfrog, uh, as mentioned earlier. Um, up here we are. She frog that went well. It was just a status with them. So um, they. The scenario I proposed on the draft GEP um, uh, is okay for them, which means uh, enabling authentication. Uh, I've checked with Daniel. So Daniel quickly told me that it might be painful for that solution uh, because that will require changing the, the tree of virtual repositories. So I need to check if we can enable authentication only for some sub repositories of the virtual ones. I don't think it is. I need to check because that um, I understand that if we have to change the parent pump for the World Jenkins project, some end user won't use it until they update their plugins configuration, which can be painful. However, um, if we enable authentication on this part, that will break their plugin, so they will have to do something. So we will have to communicate carefully. So that's, I understand the painful, but to be checked with the community as well. I think the hypothesis with them. Oh, that's all I need to work uh, on the GEP uh, then. Whip on the GEP. Perfect. Proposal. Um, Basil. Uh, is not uh, is not available for the project, so we might ask him help only for validating one or two technical elements, or if we are really locked. But he won't have the workload to help us, so we are on our own, unless someone knowing Maven on the community is able to help us. So I think I will ask help from either team uh, or Mark. Um, uh, so that means 
Daniel and Basil do not have uh, availability to work with us on this one only to give um, advice if required. So I'm moving that to the next milestone and we can proceed. Finish cleanup of mirror brain. I'm moving that one on team sync next because I didn't have time and we have too much task right now. Priority is GFROG. Uh, which one was it? Did it account? Uh, moving back to backlog. Uh, what is the next one? Collect data dog metric for ephemeral virtual machine. Stefan. Mm -hmm, that's for me. Um, uh, I was at the step of uh, uh, providing a dashboard in Datadog that could okay. be useful for developers to check if, uh, if they had uh, any uh, misconfiguration or mischoice between the, the agent, Jenkins agent, during their build, or if they have too much memory uh, hip cut or CPU. Um, it seems that the dashboard for from Datadog is not the way to go after a little uh, talk with uh, Michael Belonzi. Um, mm -hmm. Because in the public uh, display, you cannot select anything. So there is no way for us to provide information, but only the, the agent that have been involved in the build. So I need to, chair, to check with, um, with uh, James and not Jesse, sorry, Jesse. So I need to check with James if, um, if we can manage something directly with him or, or if we really need to find a way to provide those information to anyone and and then to to find something else as a, as a matter of fact as it seems that for now that the uh, dashboard are not uh, usable like that publicly okay so that means okay that's quite annoying so that means if we are, don't have a solution uh, we will have to stop working on that task and uh, eventually write just a, a piece of documentation for the end user, for the maintainer. If they have an issue and they want to see insight, uh, they have to ask the, on the L desk and we can provide the metrics for because them. We, we can, of course, get information on that, but, uh, but uh, to, to have that publicly available, it's, it's not so easy. It publicly available and document for maintainers or to ask infra team to get data. So at least solution one that I've wrote, yeah. um, now we have the metric thanks to your work, Stefan. So at least we're able to, to retrieve because last time the maintainer asked when Basil and James asked for uh, information, we didn't add any. So at least we improve and now we can observe the machine even afterwards. Yeah, and I learned a lot with Michael because um, in fact, that's not as as uh, evidence as, as it seems. As yeah. it seems that uh, you can select with, uh, for example, AWS or Azure mm -hmm. and it will change everything. And in fact, no, not, not sure really if you have only one uh, graph so so they really need to to get back to us to have the, the correct answer because we got all those informations i'm not okay. clear I'm, I'm sorry my english is not good enough i'm not sure what you mean by the we are they need to come back to us who are they people who want information about the jenkins okay agent. okay so that mean for okay. me that's the client Okay, our custom, customers, 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 just to be sure. Uh, okay, so our customers, the, the maintainers, the Jenkins maintainers, uh, plugins maintainers, core maintainers, they will have to open an issue and we will search based on our knowledge to be sure that we know CI Jenkins IO use these types. Okay. Yes. Um, that will be the default solution. 
I agree, uh, and maybe not spending too much time on data board on data. The, so, what do you think if uh, I let you command the issue uh, after the meeting? You already had the information to say, okay, uh, you are going to update the documentation for maintainer, and we can send an email to the mailing list saying, okay, we have reached that level. We don't have any much more time. Yeah, and maybe we can add um, uh, a kind of issue that we can have in the in the oh, absolutely. Have one that is directly uh can i have information about the the agent that have been building this build issue template on ldesk to request for uh, agent metrics nice idea solution two um which i call it long term uh, that means we need to switch the metric collection or add metric collection on a public Grafana dashboard. Yeah, that's that's the only thing I was thinking Switch of. Switch or add uh, a public Grafana dashboard for that. Um, so I'm not sure if Grafana is able to retrieve data from Datadog. I don't think so. I will, that would be amazing, but I'm not sure. So which means adding a Prometheus collection for CI Jenkins IO instead of the Datadog, so or both. I, I don't know, but yeah, that's the uh, uh, the, the other solution. Does it or make if sense? We the, if we want the solution one to to still work, we will need both for at least sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yep, correct. Uh, yeah. That. That one, we don't have the bandwidth for doing that right now, unless someone is interested in doing that. We can ask uh, people for help there. It's October 1st. Nice job. At least we know we can help the user. So it's still really, really useful. Thank you to Michael Palancy. He helped me a lot. Thanks, Michael. Okay. Um, so I'm moving the issue to the next milestone, but the expectation is um, writing down a message that summarizes the two solutions, implementing documentation, and third item, uh, adding the new issue templates. Once the three are done, we can close that issue because the topic is collect data dog metrics. And then we will have to follow up on the parent topic, add observability for the build agent. We will have to command the solution to on the parent topic. But that one is should be closable uh, once you will have finished that. Next issue, publish pipeline step docs generator and backend artifacts. So I worked on that locally. I will need to update on FRACI uh so i will need from both of you a go when i can stop the kubernetes management repo uh, and when i can uh, try to break the uh, configuration of infra ci uh, as a matter of testing before committing so i don't know how much you are using it uh but yeah can i work on it later today or and tomorrow morning uh, I would like to finish with the the Windows uh, Cloud Init problem that we we saw this morning. You're working on Infra CI for that? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, Infra CI, and you can deploy a new version of Infra CI. Don't mind. Uh, just yeah. I propose I will wait for you, Stefan, when you will have updated Docker Weekly. Okay. I will start after that. Hervé, is there any blocker if I uh, work on this later today and tomorrow morning? Cool. No, I think I found the issue for my side, so I will continue. To work on it after weekly upgrade of Infra CI from I Stephen. I launch it now. Okay, collect data dog metric. We did it. Um, did it account on account Jenkins Sayo? So someone required to remove their account. Um, I we have to delete the, the user, I think. Sorry, uh, I took, I added a comment, but my comment is lost. 
Okay, let's consider I messed up. Um, I need to add a command from the person to ask them to send an email to the private Jenkins uh, infra team email from the email used by the account, which is not public here. The uh, goal is to validate I, the legitimacy of that request. I'm pretty sure you sent it. But isn't I it on another issue? It. Yeah, I'll check in my mail. So either there is an issue with GitHub and I will add the command again, or no worries on that. Uh, delete accounts, delete account, where is delete accounts? So, yeah, to ask. No, to it wasn't on this one. An email to it private. Was on another. Okay, cool. Validate legitimacy. It's, it's just to be sure that it's not someone else acting uh, for that user. Even if the Jenkins account name maps to the GitHub account name, and that it's a plugin maintainer who already uh, who validates the change. So um, Alex took care of, since that person don't want to have an account anymore, so they don't want to be able to publish and maintain a plugin, um, the default assignee in Jira has been changed to that other maintainer of the same plugin. So Alex, thanks a lot for that. Now we have to remove the account. So I just want to be double sure before deleting it. Um, so that one moved to next milestone. Next issue, upgrade our GHA using deprecated set output. So thanks uh, Hervé for noticing this one. Uh, Alex and you have done it on a lot of uh, issues. So we continue working on this one. There is a specific okay. issue on one that you reverted on Jenkins Weekly. Yes. Uh, we looked at it with uh, Stefan earlier today, just to understand. Um, so one of us can absolutely continue using the set output name changed. The one that is failing is the STD out. At first sight, we understand that the new method from GitHub is not supporting <coughs> multi-line uh, values. But I might be wrong. I saw I saw something on the creator update pull request action uh, command in a, in another repo. I saw how we can uh, prevent uh, uh, error on multi-line bodies. Oh, I have a fix for that. I I saw a fix for that in another repo. Cool. Uh, are, are you ready to uh, either do it or? Or share the solution? I, I'll share the solution first and I'll take the issue if I have. Cool. Uh, Using multi line strings, which we do on Docker, Jenkins, whatever. Um, so at Hervé and Alex working on it. Okay. Can I make you co assignee with Alex on that one? Yes. No okay. Problem. And I'm. Uh, you, put you, you put yourself. You put yourself. Oh, problem. sorry. I was looking at a um, dark background on the avatar. Um, plugin documentation doesn't get updates. Uh, someone had issue, their plugin on plugin site wasn't uh, seeing their readme updated. So when the plugin site is generated, it reads the readme of each plugin, convert it to HTML, and generate static page for the plugin site. However, some part of the website are dynamically generated. So as you can see on that example, um, the version was not updated and the readme neither. So in that case, there were an issue. Uh, I asked for help because I don't know that part. It appeared that the on infra CI, the private uh, controller, the master branch of plugin site is failing since the 12th of October. Not sure if it's that master branch in charge of deploying the image or not. Uh, it looks it is. So the issue is fixed, but there is a miss. They don't know the root cause. Uh, it comes from an update center behavior where few plugins we're having empty uh, empty settings on some of the JSON part, as you can see. 
and these empty values were breaking the generation. So they don't really know. There is no expectation, as far as I understand, from the infra team. Um, I will keep monitoring this one unless someone is okay. Uh, so yes, I'm adding that to not directly actionable by infra team. As a reminder, we might need to rename that milestone, or I maybe would not, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Put okay. It. Yeah. Yeah. Too much negotiation with too much people. I understand. No. So I'm putting that one on the backlog on infra team sync next, but I assign myself so I will uh, receive. If I see any action required from us, I will move it back to the current milestone. Looks good to you. Cool. Uh, can't able to get email for the password. So a user request, they want to update their password for the Jenkins account. So, okay, that's the one where I already put the message. So if uh, next week we don't have any answer back from the user, then we close it as not planned. Could be our fault due to the spam system. If the user tried before Hervé uh, fixed the account app uh, deployment, could be something else. I don't know, but we need more information. But yeah, we don't delete or reset password uh, just with a simple command. We don't even know uh, which account it is, though. So, so let's move it to next milestone. And next time, we close it if no information. Finally, the last one I got on the work in progress is someone is having issues with a software called Red Hat Satellites, which seems to be a Red Hat proprietary system to manage large scale infrastructure. And they seem to have missing metadata when using the RPM repository for Jenkins. They were using archives.jenkins. I told them to use PKG. They gave us information which I don't understand at all. And I don't know. So some work is required there. I will will try to see if we can install Red Hat repo. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry for the user who raised that issue, but I don't understand at all what the problem is. And it seems like it's making them mad. So yeah, uh, word one. We need... So I will start um, by trying to check the latest version. What is repo data and metadata? I remember there were some metadata associated to the RPM repo, but I'm sure we have some, otherwise Yum will be, will not work. So got to try, but maybe it's something new in the Red Hat, CentOS, Fedora mess of operating system. So we'll see. If anyone has that knowledge, please help us. <laughs> um, I will update the note after that. That's all for the work in progress. So first of all, did we receive new issue? We have a Jenkins mirror uh, request. So we have to answer to them. So. They, uh, the people want to host mirrors on Australia and Asia, which is really good idea. So let's add this to the next milestone. Uh, Stefan, are you okay to work on that with me? Uh, yes, I would love to learn that, yes. Cool, I'm adding you as a co-signee. Uh, so first step will be retrieving the information. We have an issue about documenting that. I think we have a run book with some information as far as I remember. So we can if make I, this public. If I remember correctly, there is no way to uh, uh, force in the bandwidth usage because it depends on the area in the world and the people using it. Exactly. But we can give an order of magnitude by uh, sharing with them what we have for archives. Jenkins, say you if it's okay for you. Oh, well, well. Uh, okay, so that one is the one. Kubernetes 1.23. So let me update. No more triage. That one required triage, but it's already. I'm looking. Uh, I've lost the issue. 
But Kubernetes 1.23, what's the status on this one, folks? Um, I did uh, the update of the uh, kubectl, and we were reviewing the the full um, change log mm -hmm. before uh, getting started with DOKS. I did put the horse before the. No, I don't know how in English you say that, but uh, I started the PR for uh, DOKS, and then I moved back because we need to finish the the change log, and I'm not able to to do it by myself. Okay, so let's see how we can plan uh, the updates. I propose that we start by DOKS and AKS, and we plan for AKS next week. Sounds good for you. In fact, the the, the upgrade by himself for DOKS is already mm -hmm. uh, prepared, but we need to finish all, all the change yes. log. Yes, uh, it's more a target date. When uh, do we want to update the stuff? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Depending on how long it takes to to do the the change log, yeah. we say we do that the, that uh, whatever day, and then we can we take the time based on priority. Okay, I think we will have time tomorrow because we cannot do much because of the yep. security. Good point. Uh, I think that's already a lot. Uh, let me check the latest issues. Do you have other issues in mind that uh, are important to treat? Um. Okay, so these are artifactory. So we have the Carabs Labs, Repo Carabs Labs. So sorry for this one, we won't have more time. Uh, separated pipeline, or the rest are yeah. set outputs. I don't see other new things. So propose we close unless if I miss anything please open an LDSK issue or mention it and we'll take care of not forgetting it for next week. So next milestone is okay. I will upload the recording of this meeting once it's available. All the other have been done. Hervé, just in case you can delete all the ACMD notes except today's uh, once you will be finished with them. Yes. Do you have other question or the topic before we close? Okay, so let me stop recording and see you next week.